Okay. Wow, I came in time. Let's go. Perfect timing. Yo, let's so, go. Ray's actually gonna switch it up and open up with a po That's different. I go with the tried and true fox. But yo, Peach, work on those those thunder loops. Alright, grand finals. We've been waiting for this guys. Everybody's been playing out of their minds today. Alright, good conversion. Ray seeming like he's not like he's probably warmed up ahead of time. Ooh, look at that. Look at that option right there. Trying to go to ledge. Gets punished hard though. Fox able to rack on this percent so insanely fast. Okay. And fast not only playing, you know, for first place, but also trying to avenge an earth. That's his only loss so far this tournament has him. And the ring. Wow. I could switch. Was back in winter semifinal, where he got three so Oh fast, my god. Looking to, write that, looking to write that, you know, that wrong in their eyes and you know, reset this bracket to one turn. Bro, I haven't seen Ray play before, but my god, this movement is so clean. Did you see all those switches, like, calculated? Nutty. Landing with the Charizard man. Knowing exactly, like, where he needs to be. This, this is so nice to watch. I could cancel. Ooh, shine! Scary. At ledge, though. How can he take the stock? He has him juggled. Nice up air, okay. Huge body, he's gonna take it. Okay. Good conversion into the back air. Oh man. Really pretty back air stability He really seems to be prioritizing the Squirtle the most. He has like setups with the uh, Ivysaur, but it, it mainly looks like most of the work is from Squirtle. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so even, guys. Nice forward tilt, we haven't seen that. Now Fast is going to build up momentum, trying to get any landing aerial to combo started. Ray not giving, not giving them that opportunity. Nice conversion, there you go. He's never actually just straight recovered with it. So hopefully Fast is able to um, bait that out one time. Because every single time Ray has Ivysaur, he always cancels the tether. That's true, that's true. Alright, what we got? Ooh, reads the roll! Oh, Probably just reaction, it didn't even look like a read per se. It was a little bit slow. That was, that was pure instinct, just up smash. Yeah. Double there we forward. go, you see those combo extensions we mentioned earlier, up to 50, 52, got 52% off that new stock mm -hmm. before Ray even could do anything. Alright, there we go. Off stage, what's he gonna do? Honestly, fast respecting him so hard. Okay. Neutral air. Actually, almost killing. It's crazy how the neutral air almost kill. Fox so light. Ooh, up tilt sneaking out that up, up B. Did you notice that? Uh, Charizard yep. was about to up B. Nice oh. shine. Nah, he's still my save. Yeah, good. Save that jump. Oh, <laughs> he's is, angling is the this... shield to bait him. <laughs> is this Smash 4? Oh my god. Yo, Soul. Got Jason in chat. He's trying to trump Yo, him. Jason, how's it going? Jason, actually a Pokemon. Actually, a Pokemon. Nice forward air. Came out a good time, Jason. Alright, eats that. Oh my god. <laughs> Tag Chase almost looking insane. I was. Nice what down smash. Ledge yard. Oh my god. Fast is playing insane right now. Alright, let me do my hat. He's carry that momentum and he is out of his mind. Doing good, Jason. Thank you for asking. I want the bracket reset, bro. That'd be hype. <laughs> I want bracket reset. I don't think I'll have a chance to drink though, Braver. I'm out of water.
Do banned characters reset if the bracket resets? Yes. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. It starts off like a complete new set. So. Hmm. That's weird. <laughs> have you ever heard of the meme freaking multi tournament conditioning? I have not. Oh yeah. Well maybe maybe uh Ray is doing like bracket reset conditioning. He's conditioning him to actually just dominate him on the reset. <laughs> just getting the download the first three games. Exactly. Alright, get into game two here. I'm gonna see the Greninja. Did he even hit a forward air? He hit something. I didn't see what Squirtle hit. I missed it too. Alright, there we go. Quick conversion. You don't see Squirtles do anything like super crazy. You don't see them go for, um, what is it? Down air loops. You can actually do down air loops. But That is true. They're very, very technically difficult to pull off, but he will rack up some percentage that. Yeah, nothing wrong with how the way he's playing right now. Um, he's just keeping the combo short, getting that damage where he needs to. And he's making it work. Alright, drag down, no drag down. See, we keep seeing those cancels, but we don't see Thass punishing it. Keeps canceling the tether right there. I feel like neutral's a lot harder versus Ivysaur though, because the Razor Leaf just goes through it. Ooh, yeah, that's Ivysaur it. Ivysaur can absolutely dominate in neutral. Okay, what we got? It is 82%. He might as well go for an up smash read pretty soon here. Tries to go for a grab out of shield. I don't like that option. Oh, man. Too slow of an option. We really don't see fast grabbing. Maybe he feels like pushed against a wall right now if he's using grab out of shield. Maybe miss input. But still, regardless, it's weird to see. Like, uncharacteristic of him. Alright, nice uppy from below the ledge. Ooh, tech chase. Yup. Be my yeah. god. Oh my god. Ray's dominating, not gonna lie. Yeah, this Ivysaur is completely taking over the new ledge. Absolutely just completely nullifying Thass' attempt to ledge guard. No, what, what you guys are witnessing right now is definitely... I, I can't say, because I'm just a commentator. But, I'd say this is definitely... The top of high, probably damn near top tier kind of player. This is definitely like the pinnacle of like where people should strive for. Because we're, we're getting really good plays from both these players right here. Alright, nice dash attacks. I think he needs to play that more dash attacky kind of kind of flow here. Because I think he's landed every single dash attack, but he's trying to play projectile too hard. When Razor Leaf Sword just beats that out. Oh. Gets nothing off of that. Oh. Ho, ho. Nice up airs. Up air. One more of those and that'll be the yep. end of the game and it is. There we go. Game two. Um, very dominant right there. <sighs> this is a tough one. But um, now Fast does have to switch off. Ivy, stupid. <laughs> Jason, do you know the rules for this tournament, by the way? Has he been, like, keeping close with the community? I'm, he is in the server? I'm not sure, though. Yeah, he does. Okay, cool beans, cool beans. Yeah, so it is tight. He does have to switch completely off of it. The stream so running for so long, Metal probably fell asleep and woke up already, right? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> It's like, so it's like 5 a.m. for him. So we got the... I'm assuming we're probably... If I had to guess, we're probably going to see Thass run back... Actually, either run back the Greninja or switch to the Falcon, and probably going to see Ray pull out the Poly. Oh, Tenna, yeah. You think he's just trying to finish it here? Hello, oh, Jigglypuff? Oh, Jigglypuff versus... <laughs> Yo, Braven, keep your eyes peeled, boy. 
Every, this is gonna every be set, intense. Bass pulls out another character. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> no, you have to have a huge character pool to play in this kind of tournament. Oh, jumps right into it. Oh my god, I, projectile I've game. Never seen Potana projectiles combo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's gotta be really tight. 95% uncontested. Tries to roll out recovery. Zero oh, to no. death, almost. And almost. Up will do it. I don't know how I feel Back about the shift. It, no. I don't know how I feel about the shift though. And this is this is him willfully picking Jigglypuff versus Palutena. Maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe he'll maybe, maybe he'll try for an up air into rest right here. Right here, right now. Puff not too good in this matchup. It doesn't if look like it. Through the just wall of aerials that Ray is throwing out. Okay. Playing a little bit grounded. Oh. Good tech from Ray almost. That's tight. And good DI from Spass surviving. You don't often see Jigglypuff living to 150 plus percent. Oh my god. Still alive. Still living. Oh, that's it. Yep, yep, there yep, yep, it yep. is. The, the slow get up. Finally gets rid of the Puff at 100. Okay, what do we get here? Good ledge pressure. Keeping safe. Advantage state looking really good, but Nairsaur just able uh, to get Palutena out of mostly sticky situations. Good job, Jab. Jigglypuff have to, has to work so hard to get in here. Nice snare. Okay. Ledge pressure again. Is he gonna roll? Good up there before grabbing the ledge. So that's something you have to keep in mind here. Um, there's a few ways of mixing up ledge options. So from Ray, we've seen so far that he neutral get up. The next option he did was roll. The next option he did was jump. So, you know by by patterns you would know that he's gonna keep doing that kind of thing but honestly Ray is in such a good spot he could keep playing the way he does he doesn't really have to even mix anything up even if he loses the stock right here he's in a super solid position yeah you know you see you were just talking about how Puff lives in 170 percent that one bow cover Ray not letting that mistake happen again being able to kill Puff with that up there at 90 and then fast fires back with the stock of his own Nice snare from him, able to steal that first stock out, but I don't know how I feel about a comeback here. It's gonna be tough, especially with a character like Puff against you know, just this matchup. Honestly, the movement from Puff is really good, but still just too slow of a character. Ooh, one more of those and that might be game. I like that side B. Nice back here. Ooh, okay. See, it's not like Fast is a bad player because he's playing so good right now. Yeah, he's playing really, really well. It's just the spacing is so good. Uh, the movement's very clean on the ground, but not able to really get much off of these interactions. He's doing a really, really good job of weaving through those projectiles, especially those explosive flames. Okay, what we got? Nice roll. Yep. Next time he's gonna jump. I'm calling it now. If we see Ray on ledge again during this game, he's gonna jump. Nice back air. Good DI. Surviving. Ooh, that's Avoiding scary. That's way scary. Flame. Three in a row. Look at this tight movement. Just weaving around, but dies right there. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is looking really bad for fast. But in game two there. Game three yeah, rather. Right. Closing out the stocks without rest can be near impossible against a good player, and we saw that just there. That's doing really doing a really good job of playing Puff there, especially considering the matchup. But against Race Palutena, he was playing it really well, and there's nothing he can really do. Because at this kind of level of play, um, it makes rest a hard to to read kind of move, like a hard to hit kind of move, to a damn near impossible. The same chances of you hitting a freaking Warlock Punch. Even getting a setup is insane here. That's why you see it at like very high level. You see 
low level tactics like drill rest because it's just easier you know instead of yeah. hitting that up air rest just go for a drill rest because it's easier like why not you know yeah and so we're gonna go to we're gonna go to Kalos for this game this could be the end of the set Ray's actually gonna pull out you were requesting it earlier we're gonna Bowser do in and then we're gonna get Thanos the fastest Captain Falcon Captain Falcon okay so it's going to be Bowser Jr. versus Captain Falcon while well, Ray's going to try to close out this turn. I feel like the recovery is going to be really hard here for Captain Falcon, though. I don't know. I don't know if the boy can do it. Can he take it to game five? I'm pretty sure. Eric? I'm pretty sure everybody here at least wants to see the 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 reset. You know. 18, I guess. What's wrong with you, Peach? Alright, good neutral so far. Nice conversion. That's the thing about Bowser Jr. here. He has a lot of safe options, but his bread and butters are very lackluster. Wait, could you have used Echoes? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure not, right? Yeah, no. It's pretty much like, you know, Simon and Richter are more characters than Bart. I mean, I know they're not characters, but for the pro. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Trying to just close that out with a forward smash right away. No conversion from Thass here. See, he has a really good concept of spacing in general, but I feel like he doesn't have a good concept of what links into what. Like the spacing on conversions. Like, they just did a side B into an up air when a neutral air would have hit, you know? Yeah. So not huge, big awareness on combos though. The SD at 144, I know it's 144, but it's still gonna hurt though. That is still an SD. KK Leon, right. yeah, no problem. Question from chat, can I use Olimar and Alpha? No, those are a little <laughs> different things. Can I use somebody like Young Link and Link? Those are separate characters, those are great. Yeah. Rapid jab in this matchup is is brutal in this matchup for who though? Okay. I think he could have hit a back air instead of that up air. I know it's really hard to juggle Bowser Jr. and get the kill because you're you're hitting the you're hitting the car. You're not hitting his head. But you just gotta do it. Might kill, so just try for it, you know? Happy Monday. Yeah, happy Monday, boys. Happy Monday, all my first fellas. Okay, we got. Okay, here we go. Ooh, nice tech. Only taking 2% from that weak knee. Okay. Oh, here we go, here we go. No upbeat this time. He's not gonna go that ham this time. Yo, actually, never mind. <laughs> oh, yo, commentator's blessing. Okay. He has a hard time recovering though. Good grab on that. Just toss it. Nice conversion. Just goes for the grab because it's safe. Oh, neutral air, bro. Oh, wow. Bad spacing on the neutral air. Should have drifted out a little bit. This is tight. That SD still hurts so bad. That rapid jab, wow. Okay, there we go. And there's fires back with the rapid jab of their own. Ooh, okay. There we go. Easy conversions off the Mecha Koopa. How can he get in? He's gonna eat that. That's what the Mecha Koopa. That's a really smart placement right there. Playing very safe. Out, not rushing in. No way! High recovery, you have to. You have to. Yup. Uh -oh. Nice parry! Wow. But good spacing so far. Go, Ray, go. <laughs> Now Bowser Jr. is so sick to watch. Okay. 
Oh, this is one hit for either player here. And Bass is doing a really, really good job of, you know, expecting those, those smash That's it! Back. That's Why it! Why did I say that? That's it! Oh, that's it, guys. He was trying really hard to get that Nair 1 into knee because I think that would have done it against uh, Larry here.